championship here in Columbus, Ohio, where Straight Rippin' beat Triggers Down in Game 3. They took the championship 6-1. to one. What are your thoughts on this weekend? I thought it was complete domination. When you look at what Triggers Down did in Meadowlands, and now they come here in Columbus, Straight Rippin' came out as a completely different team. Triggers Down showed their inconsistency. Straight Rippin' was on fire. They were on fire. At what point did Triggers Down just lose their steam? I, I think when you look at the beginning of the series, the way that Straight Ribbon was staying alive the whole series, in positions, T-Square would be at their sniper tower, and he would, he would simply just sit there for 10, 15 kills straight, and, straight, and TD couldn't do anything about it. That's when you knew Straight Ribbon was going to take the series. What were some of the highlight plays that really settled in for him? Uh, uh, when you look at the last game, the whole game was a highlight. They dominated Team Slayer and Arrows. It didn't even look like Triggers Down belonged in that game. They dominated them. <laughs> they Bad. dominated them. If you had to choose an MVP, who would you choose? I would have to go. I would have to go with Legit. And the only reason I go with Legit is because he is the <laughs> X Factor of the team. <laughs> the crowd is going nuts here, but when you look at Legit, when he is on his game, Straight Ripping is another team. But when he's not, they could get fourth place like they did in Meadowlands. What was the turning point, though? What really, really got it in for him? What sealed the deal for them? Uh, well, Julie, I think it was their mental focus. You know, Straight Ripping, they knew they were going to win this event. That's what separated them from Triggers Down. That's what separated them from any other team. They weren't worried about getting fourth place in Meadowlands. They knew they were going to bounce back. They did it last year. They did it here again in Columbus. All right, well, let's go to the leaderboard. Let's check out our eight. We have at number one, Straight Rippin. Number two, Triggers Down. At three, Final Boss. Four, Classic. Five, Instinct. Six, Believe the Hype. Seven, Status Quo. And eight, Carbon. How did these go? How did this stack up to your predictions? Well, obviously, my predictions are always money, so my top four was pretty good. But what really threw me They're off there... They're always money? you never always wrong? Money. I'm never wrong. Right. But what I was wrong about was Classic. I was very surprised how Classic turned their game up. They took it into the top four. You look at Classic, they had two out of new four teammates. Best man, Chig, they both showed up to play. It was very impressive. What happened with Instinct here in Columbus? Because a lot of people, it was their favorite to, to win. And then what happened? They're uh, at number five. We talked about it in the pregame show. Instinct has a lot of questions with Walshy and Lunchbox. You cannot rely on Roy and Neighbor to take your team all the way down on Sunday and win the series by themselves. Walshy has to show up, Lunchbox has to show up, and they didn't. That's why they lost the Classic. Tough breaks. All right, we're going to take a quick break here, but when we come back, we're going to have T-Square join us here. We'll be right back on the Old Spice Report. Stick with us.